This is a mini map box from Small Rick. Before you go anywhere, it's another map box video, I know. This one has a difference. It takes the circular screw-in filters that go on the front of your lens. That's my Peter McKinnon variable ND filter there. And it works as I turn it, just as it should. A little bit different from the other map boxes that we've seen. Let's talk about this from Small Rig. So Small Rig did come out with a larger map box recently, which is this one, and I've talked about it, I'll link it up there. It's pretty big. It works on something like the FX6, because it's a bigger camera, but on something smaller like an A7S III, it's just, it's a bit big. Another gripe I had with this one is it doesn't take the screw-in filters. It was only the rectangular filters. So now they've come out with this smaller one, and by comparison there, there's your overhead view if you wanna see, it's quite a bit smaller. And this one, as I showed you at the beginning, takes the screw-in filters. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's very straightforward, very, very straightforward. Basically, you use these little step-up rings and they are threaded on two different sides. So we're gonna attach it to my Mikey lens right here and you'll see right there, I don't know if that'll pick it up, but it's actually got like a lip on the inside as well and that's how you screw it in. So that lip on the outside of that lip actually has threads. So in the box, you actually get a bunch of these. Um, in case you're wondering the sizes that you get. So this one, um, this was a 95 to 82. So the size of this matte box is 95. So you're stepping up. So 82, this is an 82 thread. Sigma 24 to 70 is an 82. So 82 to 95, which will attach to the matte box. But you also get a 72 to 95. You also get a 67 to a 95. And you also get a... 77 to a 95. So that's what you get inside the kit, which is 317, 3196 for the whole kit there. But you can also buy this other set, which comes with a bunch of other sizes as well. Uh, you get inside here, uh, this is a 52 to a 95. You also get in there a 55 to a 95, an 86 to a 95 and a 62 to a 95, as well as, you can tell I actually haven't opened that box yet because I didn't need to, 58 to a 95. So that's what you get inside there. And if you need this kit, this is 3383. I'll pop all the links down below for you. So let's go ahead and attach our 82 to 95 step up ring. Okay, so I've tried out both ways. And it is a little bit easier to attach the filter in first and then put the matte box on. You can do it after the fact. It's just, it's a little bit fiddly because it gets quite tight in there. So my recommendation is to screw that in first, get that on like that, and then loosen this knob right here, which will basically loosen, I'll show you the top view there, it loosens that which attaches to the step up ring. So as you see, as I tighten that, it tightens the ring rear, which grips onto the step up ring. So loosen that way off and then throw that over the top like so. And then tighten up your knob right there. Oh, that's come off. There we go. Click that in, tighten that knob. Get it nice and tight. And that's it, your matte box is on. With your barn door there again, much like the other one before, there's a knob there you can loosen and then you can completely control this. But that being said, you can still, it's actually a lot tighter on this one, which is, is really good. You can still move this uh, if the knob's a little bit tight, it does stay in place there. But if you really tighten off on this one, it actually holds in there much better than this one did right there. And it looks like exactly the same material, so it's, like a carbon fiber -y type material. And if you wanted to slide in your filters, they actually go in the side right there. And let's loosen that off just so you can see. Pop that up. So you can see there's actually a little catch. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up right there. You pull that off there, the filter will pop in and that's, that's essentially how it grips it. So when you pull that out, you can release the square filters if you wanted to use those instead. You have your four threads on the top, much like you did with this one right here. And on the bottom, I believe, yeah, you have the one thread as well there if you wanted to mount anything to it. So that is the Small Rig Mini Matte Box, part number 3176. 3196, I keep saying 3176, it's 3196. There's a link down below if you're interested in that. Just a much better kind of handheld rig. See, that looks, that's a good size for that. With the follow focus on there too, 
Maybe I should do a whole video rigging up the entire camera now. You know what? I've got FX3 cages coming. We'll do a big build with the FX3 when that comes. If you're interested in that, subscribe down below and uh, that video will be coming in the next month or so. I've got a cage coming from Small Rig and another one coming from Tilter as well and I'm going to try out both because there's like no cages for the FX3 right now. So that'll be coming soon. Otherwise, that is the Small Rig Mini Map Box. That's the follow focus video for that one's up there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.